Hello, Warrior Nation. Hello, Warrior Nation. What's up? What's up? We are so excited so to excited. host you here yes. at this 2000 sitter modern auditorium. It's beautiful too, y'all. Woo! Yeah. And I'm telling you, we are going to have such an encounter with the Shekinah yes, presence of God. Absolutely. The lights we haven't seen in a long yeah. time. We're excited to not only bring you to our church, but to bring you to Mississippi. We're going to give you a warm, good, old Southern welcome but God's gonna meet us here for sure. We are expecting an avalanche of miracles. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be generic, yeah. but specific yeah. all at the same time. Yeah. Lives are going to be deeply yes. transformed and changed. Yes. It's an open door, it's an open Thank heaven. You, Father God. It's the sound the of sound, heaven. That's what you're gonna hear. Yeah. Vibrating yes. all through this Thank place. Thank you, God. Absolutely. There's just something that happens when we come together on a corporate level that you may not experience on an individual level. We're all gonna come together on one accord. Nobody's gonna be worried about somebody else. We're gonna all press in together and believe together for God to do what we would think is the impossible. It's, it's, it's gonna compound. Faith yeah. plus faith yes. plus faith. Yes. Your expectation plus my expectation. Yes. Can you imagine the collective expectation, how that's gonna draw in the presence Thank of you, God, God to really transform lives in this place. Yeah, and last year, y'all, was absolutely amazing, but God has already promised that this year is going to be even higher. And so I'm very excited, and like we always say, don't let somebody else have to tell you about this, y'all. Absolutely. Come on, we're making room for everybody to come. It's going to be amazing. The facility is beautiful. We are so excited about what God is about to do, and we want you to be a part of it. We'll see you here. We'll see you here. May 31st. May 31st. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Night of Miracles. You don't want to miss it, y'all. Love you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>we love y'all big time love you so much Do and us a we favor. need a big favor from you right yes. away yeah subscribe to our youtube channel yes we want everybody moving in that direction right now <laughs> Yes, so right. go over to YouTube, y'all, and subscribe to the channel. We do the same thing on YouTube as we do on other platforms. But we really want to send more traffic to YouTube because for some of things the we're working kind on of in freedom. the future. There's a freedom yeah. they give us that so many other channels don't give us. So yeah. please subscribe. Yes. Yeah. Kelly Lena Guaze is the channel. We want everybody to go over there and subscribe. We love y'all big time. All right. Ciao.
We need that timer. Can y'all hit that timer, Brittany or somebody? Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Somebody's reminding us it's destiny. We know today is our corporate fasting day. Good, good morning, morning. Good morning. Everybody. Who's in today? Good morning, Johnson. How are you? Jennifer, also need the iPad how are for you? YouTube. Where is it? Taken. How are you? All right. We love you too, Miss Carol. Thank you all so much for your comments. Good morning, everybody. What's up? What's up? What's up? This is the day. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Instagram. Good Britain, morning, the top of Britain's Facebook. Hair went across Good morning, the everybody. <laughs> Good morning. I had one through the screen. Brittany tried to duck under the camera, but the hair didn't make it. It's like mine. It's just going to show We have now. the mission of Dawkins when it's necessary. The mission of what? Dawkins. What's that? Ducking under the camera. Oh, ducking. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I say it a little differently. It happens in every studio. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how y'all doing? Mm -hmm. You want to know how I'm doing? I know you've been working really hard the last uh, all week, and so you need some rest. But I tell you to get rest, you don't, you don't listen. I know he's not talking, y'all. Okay. You know, I tell you to get some rest, but... Just... I'm going to sleep after the night of miracles. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's five weeks away. Yeah. And then I'm going to rest. Okay. It's going to rest. But until then, I'm going to rest, but not the way I really want to until after the night of miracles. Okay. Cool? Y'all pray for us. Anyway, let's begin by doing our confessions this morning, mm -hmm. you know how we do it, and yes. get ready to type in all those beautiful emojis. Yes, right? I'm ready. Okay. Y'all ready this morning? Y'all ready? Uh, Instagram brings it heavy. YouTube yeah. too. Yeah. Um, Love you all big time. Yeah. Amen. Sharing. Sharing is declaring. Y'all, let's um, also take this opportunity to speak over ourselves. I was doing some really good confessions yesterday while I was getting dressed. Wow. I was just telling the day what I wanted to what I wanted to happen. What, what did you tell the day? You oh, man, I was talking about how we just thank God that United this weekend is going to be packed out, you know, filled with his glory. Wow. Thanking God for the night of miracles, how it's going to be filled with his glory. glory. That we're better than ever before, stronger better. than ever before. The children are well. The warrior nation is Preach, well. Preacher. I mean, I just went on and on for about, you know, about five minutes. Okay. I think it's something that we should all do. I, I do it a lot when I'm working out, too. Just take that time to speak over myself and just confess. You said something yesterday that was really powerful. You were like, you know, at some point your prayer sh should kind of drift more towards Thanksgiving. I'm telling you. And that's how, I, like, I pray for things. I lift up the Warrior Nation. I lift up everything. But I find myself saying thank you way more than asking for anything. And then the things that I ask for typically Absolutely. are about His glory being revealed, about advancing the kingdom, stuff yeah, like that. That's good. That's really good. So that's just what I've observed in my own. I think prayer one of life. the uh, one of the type of prayers we I don't believe we've really Taught mm -hmm. in the body mm -hmm. is truly the prayer of the power of thanksgiving. Maybe we should do that. Maybe, Maybe we, we should, should teach that. that, and that'll help as we get ready for Night of Miracles. Absolutely. So that everybody comes in with an extremely thankful heart. You will see more miracle giving thanks than any other through any other means. Yeah. I want to say that again. You will yeah. see more miracles mm. through giving thanks than any other means. So when we do this, after we make our morning confession, let's take some time and thank God this morning. Um, I used to think that if I didn't say all these things that I wanted God to do that mm -hmm. he wouldn't do them. Like, let's mm -hmm. just say I took the next 15 minutes and just thank God instead mm -hmm. of saying, you know, I want to see mm -hmm. this, this, this. But I've learned according to Matthew 6.33 that as long as I'm seeking God first, all that stuff that I used to want to mm -hmm. fill up my prayer list mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. he's going to do it anyway. Well, if you look at that, how Jesus taught us to pray, mm -hmm. he said, Our Father, mm -hmm. hallowed be thy name. Yeah. I mean, look at all the lists before you even start getting to your own personal yeah, needs. Yeah, exactly. The problem is most of our prayers are so filled with our own personal needs. Yeah. It reminds me of this scripture in Second Chronicles 5, 13 and 14. It mm -hmm. says, when the trumpeters and the singers and the musicians and the priests came uh, to make one sound, one mm -hmm. voice to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. It says that the house of the Lord was filled with the glory of, of, of the Lord. And what were they saying? The Lord is good and his mercy is endure forever. forever. That's Absolutely. all they were saying. Wow. The focus was on God's goodness, yeah. God's greatness. Yes. And as they focused on putting the kingdom of God first, even in their praise and worship, our Father, hallowed be thy name. God was already meeting their right. needs. The house was already filled right. with the glory of God. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are y'all ready? All right. Confession. At the count of two, please. One, two, go. This, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord, Lord has made. made. I, I will, will rejoice and, and be glad, glad in it. it. Okay, come on, y'all. Let's do our emojis, our happy faces, our airplanes, our suns, our sunflowers. And let's not forget our green hearts. 
We are continuously lifting up Tomei before the Lord. We declare her healing. And this is just a way of reminding ourselves and Tomei that we are behind her. And everyone Jesus. else out there who's believing God for healing, it is done. And so we stand together. Make sure you type it in your green hearts. You know, Thank um, you, Lord Jesus. What, what you declared is so powerful. Um, and maybe we, we get, in fact, what we are going to talk about today in the communion table has a lot to do with Thanksgiving. So, so we'll connect that when that time comes. Let's though, get right? 60 seconds on the clock. Let's get this video shared and let's get started this morning. Okay. Y'all ready? We ready, yeah, production let's... team over there? All we right. ready in just a just second. Putting that up. Yeah. And um, so oh, y'all did so beautiful. Look at YouTube. Yeah. Oh, YouTube. Y'all are YouTube doing great. Look at Instagram, Facebook. You. Y'all got to decorate. Come on. Oh, they're doing yeah. on the side. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. See? All right. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, Amen. That's really Y'all beautiful. Y'all are fancy. Love I those love colors. it. Thank you. Love those colors. Thank you, Miss Pat. Time. That's cute what you did, Miss Pat. Absolutely. We ready? All right. All right. All right. At the count of big two share. people, After big share. After you share it, type in I shared, and then type in confessions. Let's thank God, okay? Y'all Amen. ready? Are right, we ready? All right. So... One, two, go. The clock is counting down. Yeah, let's go. And as you're doing that, we're going to begin to welcome the presence of the Holy yes, Spirit. Yes, thank you, Lord invite Jesus. Him to come and invade this place. How many of you are hungry this morning for a move yes, of Lord. God? Lord, yes. we yes. crown you Lord of Lords. We crown you King of Kings. Yes. In the center of what we're going to do here today, God, you yes, have Lord. your way. Spirit of the living God, thank you, you are so welcome saturate yes, this come on, share moment the video, Warrior Nation. in come the on. name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Breathe upon your word and yes. cause it to come alive. Come on, share it. Type it in. Use it as the let mightiest you, let your name be glorified, weapon Lord. to speak to specific yes, situations Lord Jesus, we thank in your you this people's morning. lives this morning. Thank you, Lord. We decree by faith not one single person yes, who Lord. walked in here will leave the same way they came. Yes, we God, speak you that will and we touch receive people. it. You will heal people. Yes, you will deliver Lord. people. You will set people free. Yes. God, you will lift we up thank the you, mist, Lord Jesus. the fog, the chaos, the confusion, yes, the God. darkness thank and you, bring Father. in light. We and call clarity you faithful, and Lord direction. Jesus. You'll order steps yes, today, God. God. We are making progress. Yes, we're we are making moving progress. forward. Yes, Lord. In the name, in the of, name the Lord of Jesus. Jesus. Thank and you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Yes, and all Lord. The Who is like None. this, God? There's no one like we you, oh God. Breathe and we acknowledge you. Glory we to say your name, thanks Father. Thanks a million. Come yes, on, everybody. You know Come what Kelly said earlier. Come on, let's just thank you, Let's spend a 60 seconds right now. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you. What Lord, can we you say thank, thank you, Father, thank for everything you for the that you have gift done. Of life. Thank you for the thank gift, of, for the another gift day. of another day. Thank you, Lord thank Jesus, for the gift of health. Lord, we thank, thank you for the gift of holiness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We say thank you this morning as a family. Thank you for the gift of the cross. Thank you, Father God. We can never thank you enough. Son, the gift so of good, your Lord. love. You're so worthy. The gift of your grace. Thank you for the gift of your power. Thank you for your spirit. The gift of your blood. God, come on, y'all. Thank you for the family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Father. God, just the blessing of the Lord that is hovering and saturating us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord Jesus. In Jesus' in mighty Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Thank That's you, Lord. That's a beautiful Lord. prayer, baby. Thank you. I am so thankful. Beautiful prayer. I'm telling you, y'all, the answers beautiful prayer. are found in his presence. I'm telling you. And I just sense that there are some people out there who you've been seeking God for the answers. You've been seeking God for strategies. Those strategies and those answers are found as you bask in his presence, as you find yourself acknowledging him all through the day. Amen. Uh, that we don't become so... Um, ritualistic, if there's such a word I think it is, mm. to where we just, up oh, only a certain time that you seek him. It's great to do that. We know Daniel sought the Lord three times a day, but make it a continual thing that it's not just at set yeah. times. Yeah, let it be set times. But, you know, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be, my be in my Seven mouth. Seven times a day yeah. will I praise you. So every okay. time you even think about it, because what will happen over time, you're, and some of you probably can bear witness, you'll find yourself thanking him and praising him even when you're not even thinking about it. It will become subconscious. There's a secret to the way God moves. You think of Paul and silence in prison. Mm -hmm. For what reason? For preaching the gospel, for doing the very thing that God told him to do. And unfortunately, what God told him to do got them in trouble with the city. And they were locked deep down in the dungeon. And they mm -hmm. could have just sat down there and had a pity party, just had a a time of misery and complain about, you know, God, here we are, you know, just serving you. I mean, we've put it on the line and this is what we get. Is that what they did? No. The Bible says as they began to pray mm. and sing praises, mm -hmm. That's they, it. Song, they song Thank you, Lord songs Jesus. and praises in their prison state, uh -huh. in their chained state. Yeah. And what happened? The Bible says all the prison doors were open. Yeah. All their 
There's something about the character of God when your back is against Thank the you, wall, Lord, and you begin when to things are not him. working the way you want them, uh, that, that they're supposed to work, and in the midst of all of that, you are jumping and singing yes, and shouting love and it. rejoicing. Love it. Nothing confuses the kingdom of darkness like your praise. Praise confuses and the enemy. And nothing releases you from what you're going. I'm telling you, I have seen in the healing ministry when it seemed like everything else phase, fa failed, worship made it happen. I have seen God raise people from their deathbed. And when I mean their deathbed, I mean people that were given up to die. Mm -hmm. I don't mean people that were literally dead, but people that were literally given up to mm -hmm. die as we healed hands and began to praise him mm -hmm. and thank him. The power of God hit them thank you, and Lord they Jesus. were healed instantly. Lord, we thank you for I've your power I've seen it happen morning. again and again. Yes. So God, we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Name. That is amazing. Praise All God. right. Um, yesterday, we started this message on the communion table. We're just going to run very quickly in the next one or two minutes and give you the summary of what we taught yesterday. Um, in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 and 26, you see the summary of the communion table. This is what you call the summation, the summary. So re let's read it very quickly. We're going to read this in the King James Version. That's 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to through 26. 26, and it says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. After the same manner also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And the last verse, verse 26, for as often as you eat this bread and, and as cup. often as you drink this cup, you do proclaim, you do demonstrate, you do show the power of the Lord's death until he comes. Mm -hmm. Now, we started in, in, in describing several things. We're going to run it through you. Number one, the communion is a revelation from God. God has to show you. God gave it to Paul in spite of the fact that he had already celebrated that meal with his apostles before right. his death. God gave it to Paul as a personal revelation, and it's got to be open to you as a personal revelation. Right. The number two thing we talked about is that the communion connects you directly and immediately to a shared life in the life of God. It makes you an active participant mm. where you're actually engaging the very life of God. Mm -hmm. It connects you to that life directly. No middleman. Right. It connects you to that life a immediately. It's mm -hmm. the most practical way to, to get, get the life yeah. of God at work in, in you. you in a very Amen. profound and powerful way. Say that one more time. So the communion is the best and most practical way to get God. Is the quickest, the fastest, the huh. most practical way to get the life of God at work, work in, in you. you. And you powerful. engage that through the communion table. We talked to all about that yesterday. If you were not there, go watch That's the video. Powerful. All right? Mm -hmm. Number three, we told you that the bread has a name. The bread has a What's name. What's the name, y'all? What's the name? What's the name? What's the name of that bread? It. The bread of life and the, the, the bread, bread of God. Life, mm -hmm. right? The bread of life, right? The bread of life because it has one function. To produce life in you right. by destroying any dead cells, any dead virus in your system. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It provides life the bread in of your life. physical body. Yes. Understand that. Okay, it's also called the bread of God. Mm -hmm. And that's a Good revelation. Job. They're writing that in. Good. Okay, the bread of God. This is the bread that God eats. And we told you nobody eats what God eats and remains the same. Yeah. All right? Yes. The same thing we told you with the cup. Mm -hmm. The cup also has two names. Mm -hmm. What are the names? Okay. The the cup of the Lord is one the of them. The cup of the mm -hmm. Lord. Just like you have the bread of the Lord or the bread of God, mm -hmm. you have the cup of the Lord and you also have the cup of blessing. We talked about that. The cup that. of blessing. Go watch the video from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, today we want to focus a little bit on a few things. We want to focus on the bread and we want to focus on how you're supposed to actually take it. Okay. All right? So in Exodus chapter 12 verses 3, Exodus chapter 12 verses 3, we're going to read this in the King James I want Kelly to read the softer translations when we get there. So it says, Speak ye unto the congregation of Israel. Isn't this amazing? Thousands of years, mm -hmm. right? Before Jesus inaugurated the communion table yeah. when he was physically present on earth, 
the communion was already revealed in type form in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. So we say, speak ye unto all the community or congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of the month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, mm -hmm. according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And mm -hmm. you want to type that in, a lamb for a house. Right, a lamb for a house. A lamb for a house. So this was the very night that God was going to bring them this out of the house favorites. of bondage. One of my favorites. Okay? The very night, okay, God had performed all types of miracles. Pharaoh was not listening, all right, until he, pro, until he, he, he inaugurated the, the power of the communion. You see, the power of the communion was the last and final miracle. This was the miracle. The moment it was performed, Pharaoh could no longer say no. He said no to all the rest, mm. but this one, mm. showing you the, 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 the most powerful element the power in the communion table yes. right so he's now saying tell the children of israel that that night every household must have a lamb every household not every person every, every household, household must have a lamb a lamb for, for a, a house. house say that with me a, a lamb, lamb for, for a, a house. house showing you household salvation yeah. baby oh did y'all get that God's will is not for you only to get saved. Type in God's will is household salvation. It's, I'm telling you, Everybody it's a lamb house. for a house. Yes, Lord. Showing you that we God you, is Tomei. big when morning. it comes to family. God is so big when it comes to family. He wants you and your household saved. When he brought Noah, he brought Noah, his wives, and his children. He brought all of them into the ark. All right? He wants you and your household saved. Now... So a lamb for every house. Mm -hmm. And what did he tell them? In verses 4, I put this in the voice translation to help you understand it better. Mm -hmm. So baby. Okay. okay. If there aren't, so let me just throw this in. Yes. That desire that you have in your heart for your entire household to be saved is in the will of God. Yes. It's not just something you're just thinking about. That's a desire I feel like God placed in your heart because this shows it right here. This is what he wants for the entire house to be saved. When you get to heaven, you want to see your loved yeah. ones. Who wants to get to yeah. heaven and say, I don't want to see my loved ones, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's God's will so for us. So praise God. And we're going to keep believing together for that, okay? Amen. It says that there aren't enough people in the family to eat an entire lamb. Then they should share a lamb with their nearest neighbor according to how many people are in the neighbor's family. Divide the portions of the lamb so that each person has enough to eat. Each person has enough to eat. Do mm -hmm. you know that this lamb actually is called the meal? Mm -hmm. The Passover meal mm -hmm. is more in the lamb, in the flesh of the lamb, than it is in the blood of the lamb. You don't eat the blood. Mm -hmm. You, you the eat the flesh. Yes. In the Old Testament, you don't eat the blood. You eat the flesh. Mm -hmm. The emphasis was placed on the flesh. Yeah. And it had to be big enough for every member of the family to participate in this meal. Mm -hmm. Jesus called it the last supper, right. the last dinner. It's a dinner. When we come to share of the communion table, mm -hmm. it's a meal. Mm -hmm. It's a dinner. It's a meal. Type it in. It's a okay? dinner. It's a meal. And so that's yeah. why we're not too big into those little elements that we use in churches. I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying... You know, it doesn't, it's not fully descriptive of what God had in mind when he told us to take of the meal. Yeah, right? it's a meal, y'all. So every member of the family had to eat the flesh. They had to break bread. Mm -hmm. They had to break bread, right? Yeah. So now, in Exodus chapter 12, verses 11, we're going to read this in the message, and then we're going to read it in the voice. And this is telling us how you actually take it. In other words, there's a divine protocol to engage in, in the communion table. You can't just say, do I'm whatever take, you want to do. You know, just yeah. do it whatever, however you want to do it. God has prescribed a way that Thank we you, need Lord to take Jesus. the communion table. Yeah. So, baby, read that. That's okay. Exodus, Exodus 12, 12 11 verses in the message. 11 in the message. Now, with us Instagram, okay. Exodus 12, 11 in the message, because they okay. don't, can't see the scripture on the screen. Got you. And here is how you are to eat it. Be fully dressed with your sandals on. And your stick in your hand, eat in a hurry. It's the Passover to God. Okay. So it's saying, and here is how you are to eat it. So there is a protocol. God is saying, when you eat it, you can just eat it as you please. I'm providing the protocol on how you need to engage in this meal. Okay. Read it in the voice translation, okay. please. It says, here is how I want you to eat this meal. Be sure you are dressed 
Oh, I love this. And ready to go at, at a, a moment's, moment's notice. notice. That's a sermon all within itself. I'm telling you, I'm going to let you preach <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to do that one day. Here is how I want you to eat this meal. Be sure you are dressed and ready to go at, at a moment's, moment's notice. notice. Happy in y'all, I am ready to go. With sandals on your feet and a walking stick in your hand, eat quickly because this is my Passover. So now picture this wow. whole vision Come that on, God Come on, I'm ready to go. These people have been in the land of I'm bondage for how long? 400 years. 430 I'm ready to go. years. Mm. That's nine generations. And on the night of their Passover, God go. is saying, I am not seeing your faith attitude. You got to act like you're ready to go. I am man. not seeing the element of faith in your deliverance. I'm ready to go, Lord. Thank you're you, Jesus. You're acting like you want to spend, uh, you know, a couple of more days no, in the land of bondage. We're ready to come out today. Are you not tired of come being on, tired? Come on, Warrior Nation. Who's ready? Is there no hunger yes, to Lord. leave at a moment's yes, notice? Yes, Lord. At a moment's let me, notice. Let me insert this. And that's how ready you have to be because you don't know when that answer is going to show up. But you have to be ready. You don't know when it's going to happen. But in that moment, when it happens, that's not the time to make excuses and prepare. You have to prepare ahead of time. The Bible says in a moment, you got to be dressed. You, you can't go around looking. I used to preach this all the time. Mm. So many people will believe in God for this big door to open. And it's opening. And it's going to open. But when it opens, that is not the time for you to go figure out what you're going to wear or how you're going to wear your I hair or what you're going to take with you. That. You have to be to where you are already meets ready opportunity. to go. Exactly. Absolutely. Say that again about the preparation. Preparation has to, when the preparation meets opportunity. That's it. That's success right Preparation there. has to meet opportunity. So you have to have the mindset that you are going somewhere. There was a word happen. that yes. was dropped in your spirit. And I'm looking forward to doing more nights of prayer. But at the night of prayer that we did, it was super packed out. When you got up you, in your spirit, you said, yes. I'm making progress. Yes. In Warrior Nation, we are making progress. But with it, we have to act like it. We got to talk like it. We, we have to eat like, like it. it. We got to walk like, like, it. like it. We got to dress and like preach, it. Preach, preacher. See what I'm saying? You have preach. to be ready. Woo. You have to be ready. God is searching the earth and he's looking for who he can use. And we're always saying, use us, Lord, use us. But are you ready? If you got the call today, would you be ready to pick up and go? With that big breakthrough, whatever it is, you have to be ready. You have to be ready in your spirit. Come you on, have to who's be ready, ready in your this mind. morning? You can't afford to be passive. You got to be ready. You can't be walking through this life like a daydreamer. Thank you, you gotta, Lord Jesus. You got to have a sense of direction where you're going and wake up like it. These are, you're telling God, I want it. I want it bad. See, these, Who wants it this bad? This faith actions, Glory to faith your name, gestures, Lord. Yes. They, they're releasing something into the atmosphere. I'm telling you, angels are watching your faith response. It's really important. So yep. what God was saying, this is, this is, there were two voices in the head of the Israelites. Mm -hmm. One was the voice of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. They've seen God perform the first miracle. It didn't All set them, them free. Yeah. Nine miracles because he performed 10 wonders in the land of Egypt to set them free. So the first nine appeared like it didn't work. Okay. And so when God told them, this is the very this night. This is it. This is the one. So I need to see you dressed like you're going somewhere. You have to believe. Now, I know that Pharaoh told you you're not going anywhere. Mm. But I, the Lord, I'm telling you, tonight is the final night you are going to be kept in the house of bondage. Huh. But they just sat passively like, you know, I don't know if we can believe this. I don't know if we can accept this. You got to receive and God that was word. Saying, Listen, you got to respond I don't to that like word. your attitude. Mm -hmm. Even though you're still in bondage, dress like you're free. Hmm. Even though you feel like you're sick, dress like you're healed. Yes. Even though you feel like you don't have sufficient funds, dress like you have all make that you happen. ever need to make to be a success in Thank this life. You, Lord dress Jesus. the part. Thank you, Lord. Dress your mindset. Dress your spirit. Dress every part of your of your of your being like you're going somewhere to happen. Let me insert this because I want to say Desiree. Obviously, you've been with me a long time because she said like those heels that you bought, <laughs> and about two years ago. What, about a year and a half ago? You know, y'all know I was believing God for a pair of red bottoms. If you got a problem with that, whatever. But nevertheless, I was believing God. It was been on my vision board for years. And I finally got a pair. And I said, I'm not wearing them until Steve Harvey calls. Did a whole video. I had them in the, in, and I didn't even show the shoes. I had them in the little red bags that they come in. And I said, I'm, these are my shoes. I am going to be ready. I'm going on that Whoa. show. And when he calls, I'm going to wear them. And so, I, I mean, I kept those $600 shoes in a bag, untouched for months. And then one day the Lord spoke to me and said, 
put your shoes on mm -hmm. because you are already in travel. You're mm -hmm. already in transit. And so I had to have the revelation in my mind. It wasn't something that I was waiting on. I was like, you know, whether he calls or not, I don't bless him. We're going to meet him. We think he's awesome. But that wasn't the point. The point was I had to understand in my mind that I was already traveling. And so I just want to speak that out over you today. I was waiting on something and hoping and praying for something that I already had asked. God had already blessed me, and I didn't even realize he was already lifting me. And I began to put those shoes on and wear those shoes. And that's what I'm saying. Sometimes we are waiting, waiting, waiting. When you actually are already making progress, you just don't have the revelation. And so I'm telling you this morning, you're already traveling, and you're already making progress. Amen. Absolutely. And let me say this. Let's go back to that 1 Corinthians 11, 23, where we started, right? We want to read verse 24. Because Jesus brings this revelation back into the New Testament. Mm -hmm. He takes from the old and he brings the same concept into the new. This is how he says to take it. He says, and when he had given thanks. He break it. Oh, and when, why did he start this whole thing with giving thanks? Mm -hmm. Because as far as Jesus was concerned, it was already done. It was already done. It was already complete. It was already fulfilled. Yes, thank when you, he, Jesus. Listen, he hadn't even gone to the cross to die. But the moment he said, God, I give you thanks, mm -hmm. he saw it as a finished work, as a complete work. It was done. Mm -hmm. In the realm of the spirit, it was complete. Yeah. Because we live under the heavens and time is a process. So it will take the natural some time to catch up yeah. to something that has already taken place in the spirit. But as far as Jesus was concerned, it was already settled. So when he lifted up that breath, he was saying, God, thank you because it is done. Yes. Okay. Thanksgiving. I'm telling you right now, please catch this. When it comes to your healing and you enter, this is the simplicity of the healing ministry that most people miss because they think that the healing ministry has to be so dramatic. Right. When we pray for you, it's like, I didn't feel anything. It's not about happened. a feeling. When I lead people to Christ, do they feel something right. sometimes? They may not believe. feel anything. But they've got to believe that they're saved. You've got to believe that you're healed. The manifestation of your healing is when you move to the golden altar of incense mm -hmm. and begin to say, God, thank you. That's the response. Thank you. Yes. Thank you that I'm healed. Think if you spent more time giving thanksgiving, you're going to see the power of Come God on. flooding your whole being and it's going setting on you free. Here is 633. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and type that in. Let's go ahead and, and type me, that in. Let me in. throw this in while we're doing that. In other words, it's your response. He automatically thanked, he automatically gave thanks. What I started to do, babe, I, I think I'm going to do a pop up today because I got something I want to say. But let you. me say this I began to walk around those shoes in my house. In other words, I didn't wait. Until I got that so-called big break, I realized that I was already traveling, even if it was in my own living room, because it was the it was a faith response. Faith response. I, I responded to the word when God said, "What you are after, you already have." And so I put those shoes on. And I began to march around my house. Mm. So it's not necessarily like you said about what you can see right now. It's how will you respond? Right. Absolutely, because you see, when when it comes to faith, we're gonna get this in a moment. Watch this now. That 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four, and when he had given thanks, when he had given thanks. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. The moment he gave thanks, the father knew not only was he grateful, not only was he appreciated, mm -hmm. not only was he filled with gratitude, he knew that it was done. He knew that it was done. So what did he do? He broke it. He mm -hmm. broke the bread. Mm -hmm. And he said, now notice what he said. Hear these words. They are, they are so impregnant with the spirit of mm -hmm. God. He says, take. Take, take. Mm -hmm. He broke it and he said, take. Mm -hmm. Then he said, eat. Then he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. The word take is the literal Greek word. It means katalambano. Mm -hmm. It means take it by force. Yes, by okay? force. Mm -hmm. Take it. Nobody's just going to hand, hand you this. I mean, I'm taking it by force. Take, declare it. Oh. I am taking it by force. Nobody's just going to hand you something. You gotta, you gotta believe in Absolutely. your faith. Like I said, I begin to march around my house. That's taking it by force. I'm not waiting for somebody to give me something. I'm gonna march around with what I have right Absolutely. now. And Absolutely. And declare until these walls to stretch out. Absolutely. Begin to prophesy over yourself. Absolutely. You will stretch out. Absolutely. Those opportunities, they will come. Amen. And I'm gonna dress myself up and I'm gonna act like I'm going somewhere until it actually manifests in the physical realm. Absolutely. You've got to listen. You've got to. When it, when it comes to your acts of faith, this is what the heavens are watching. Come on, you have act to express like you're going somewhere. Your attitude of Do faith, your hair. you're telling Fix God, I up. want it. 
The Bible says Thank the beggar Lord lifted Jesus. up his hand expecting to receive something. Expecting, expecting yes, to Lord. possess Thank something. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, healing is in the provision. Yeah. It's, it's your legal right. Mm -hmm. Healing is not a promise to the saint. It's your legal right. Yeah. I'm going to show you tomorrow. All these things that Jesus died for on the cross, you have force. a legal right to thank it, you, Lord Jesus. And, but it's up to you to take it. Yes. Take your deliverance, take your freedom, take your success, take your prosperity, yeah. take the take blessing. Don't you apologize. have been blessed with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places, but yes. you've got to take. He says, take it. Because why? I took your disease. Now, mm. take my health. Yes, I Lord. took your poverty. Now, take, take my, my blessing. Yes, I Lord. took your curse. Now, take the, the blessing. blessing. I took your sin. Now, take yes. it. If you want it, it's for your Who taking. Who wants it this morning? God is not going to force you and you know, uh, uh, and to take things that belong to you. They, he's opened the door. Yeah. The prison door is open. Yes. What the heck are you still doing That's on right. inside? Come on. It's your choice to Thank get you, out Lord. when you want to get out. It's up he to says, you. It's a dress decision. Like you're in a moment's notice, we are getting in out. In a notice. moment's notice, you are getting out of like the house that. of bondage. Yes. So this is what the power of the That's communion. Right. Thank when you, you Lord. approach it, you have to come with an attitude of faith. Thank you, you have Lord to Jesus. eat it, knowing that the moment you bite into it, the life of God is at work Thank in you. Thank you, Lord, when for you your life being at work in us, Lord. The life of God Glory is cleansing you. Name, you, uh, Glory you to your name, Father God. Purifying you, making you whole, restoring you, reinvigorating you. Yes, Lord you Jesus. You have to take it by faith. Yes, Lord. So, Father God, we thank, we you, thank you Lord. for Come Matthew on, chapter nation. 6, verse 33. Yes, we Lord lift God, we're lifting the you entire up, the warrior nation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We, every aspect Hallelujah, of our life, everything in the body Lord. is lining yes, up Lord. in the name of the Lord Glory Jesus. To your we name, thank Father. you for it right now. Thank you, Lord we Jesus. come with the right attitude. Glory to your name, Father. Going somewhere to happen. We are going somewhere to happen. We are making progress. We are going somewhere to happen. In a moment's notice, we are coming like out of the house of bondage. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Coming out of the house of Glory sickness. To your name, coming out of God. the house of disease. Thank you, Lord coming Jesus. out of the house of pain. It, Lord, the house of disappointments. The house of betrayal. The house, yes. the, the, the house you, of hurts Jesus, and, and, and pain and rejection. Thank you, Lord. Thank and you, Father worry God. and fear and anxiety. We are coming out, God, Lord. we are coming out Glory at a name, moment's Father. notice. We are dressing the part. Hallelujah. We see ourselves out even before we are out. We are talking out, thinking out, walking out. Out of everything that Glory. is holding us bound, we are walking out at a moment's notice in, a moment's in the notice, name Lord of Jesus. Jesus. And we say Thank amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And amen. Thank you, Lord and Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Powerful. This is the power of the communion table. Mm. He says when you eat it, this is how you need to eat it. It's a meal. Take it. Yes, Lord. It's yours. Take it. Glory to it's your yours. name, Father. Your healing. Take it. Type it's, say, it's yours. Mine. It's you mine. You got to take it. Thank you, you Lord. You say, I'm not taking no for an answer. No. I am taking by force yeah. what is mine. Healing is the children's bread, people. So, Father God, we lift up the bread this morning. Come on, if you have your communion elements, We're we be lift doing up the week. bread all week. We lift up the bread and we bless it. And God, we break it. We thank you, Jesus. And as we break it, it reminds us of... Your body broken for us. Your body broken for Lord us. Jesus. See, I'm breaking this so you can see mm -hmm. your body broken, mm -hmm. broken for us, mm -hmm. broken for us. Thank you, Lord. And so, God, we lift up the body. We lift up the bread. This is the bread of life. And as we take it right now, your life is at work in our physical Glory bodies. Glory to your name, Father. Healing us of every disease and every sickness in the body, sicknesses of the blood, in the blood, in the bones, in the organs, God, wherever they are. As we eat and share in your life, your life is flowing through us right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Go ahead and eat. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you prayer. Mm -hmm. And we give you thanks. Thank you for your body, broken for us. And your body was broken Completely so our body will be made whole completely. And we thank you for it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. The same way also he lifted up the cup and he blessed it and he gave thanks. And he said, Jesus. this is my, uh, the, my new covenant in the blood. As often as you drink this, drink it in full view of all that I accomplished on the cross. So God, we come with reverence. We come with honor. We come with respect. We thank you. We are grateful you, for your shed blood on the cross. And as we drink this now, anything that is wrong in yes, our spirit, Lord. 
anything that is out of order in our soul, in our mind, in our emotions, in our will. God, let this cleanse it, let it purify it, let it purge it completely out of us. And bring yes, in your Lord. life, your overwhelming life, your radioactive life, Lord, come your in, most powerful, come in. profound life. In Jesus' yes, mighty Lord. name, amen and amen. amen. Go ahead and drink. And we want to pray for you for a minute now. I feel like Thank we're going to address Jesus. certain sicknesses and diseases in the body. I'm going to start and then Kelly's going to come right after, depending on what God is revealing to her. So right now, come on, people. Let's, let's add our faith together. You, let's add our faith together right now. Join our faith together. We are taking this by faith right now. We are coming out at a moment's notice. We are dressed for healing. We are dressed for uh, um, joy. We are dressed for peace that passes Lord, all understanding name, Father God. lord the spirit of god is in the midst of us yes lord we just honor you the god in the midst of us is mighty so we thank you right now that you're here glory we to your name lord to acknowledge you Come on, warrior in the nation. midst Let's of the warrior the nation so we bless your name and we magnify your name yes, and we Lord. praise your name and we thank you. We thank you for the cross. Glory we to your thank name. you for your shed blood. We thank you for the life that you gave to us free, freely, God. We thank you for laying down your life so that we will live. Yes, and so Lord. God, right now, through the power of the communion table, your life is at work in us if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us yes. and he does dwell in us. He also will revitalize our mortal bodies. And we decree right now that your power, your power is at work yes, in Lord. our body. Anything that is not of God in our physical body, in our blood, in our bones, yes, in the marrow, in any organ, the kidney, the liver, the reproductive system, the upper, lower abdomens, the yes, spine, Lord the Jesus. bones, the joints, God, whatever, the, the eyes, the ears, anything that is not of you. We rebuke that diabetes, yes, we rebuke Jesus. that hepatitis C, yes, we rebuke Lord, whatever arthritis is, Lord, we in rebuke the bones, it. we rebuke cancer, yes, lupus, Lord. we rebuke every known sickness and unknown disease in yes, the body, Lord. whether you are aware or not aware, if there's anything in your body yes, that is Lord a sickness, God. We that thank is a you, disease, Lord, that is a virus, thank in you, the Lord name Jesus. of thank Jesus, you, Lord. we curse it yes, from the, the roots, of we Jesus. curse it from the roots, we curse it from the roots, and we command it to Dry up and die. Thank you, Lord right Jesus. Now, in the name of Glory Jesus, to your get name. out of their limbs, get out of their eyes, yes, get out Lord. of their ears, get out of their brain, get out of their body, yes, get out of their bones, get out of their limbs, get out of their ankles, get out of get out, get out. In the name of Jesus, we come against every demonic force. Yes. The Bible is very clear. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb yes. and by the word the of our testimony. testimony. We rebuke every oppression of the yes, devil over your mind, every spirit of confusion, every spirit of darkness, every spirit of death, spirits of sickness Glory and disease, spirits of bondages, spirits of prisons. We bind you in the name of Jesus. Yes, we command Lord. you, let God's people go. Yes, we command Lord, God. you, we get thank you, out Lord of Jesus. their mind, get yes, out of Lord, their head, get you. out of their body. Thank you Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Depression spirits. How we come against spirits. you in the name we of Jesus. We come against you right we now. Come against spirits you of now. fear. Spirits of spirits suicide. Of anxiety. We cancel in it the in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. You get we out thank of their you, life. Lord God. Right now, we thank you, Lord bind Jesus. You. We arrest you. Yes, we command you completely Jesus. out of their system. Yes, Lord. Now, yes, in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. And any force that is holding anybody stagnant in their finances, we take authority over you. We bind your powers. Any force that has descended on your home and has chosen that you will never lift up your head. Yes. God, you are the lifter of our head. Yes. We take authority over his demonic forces. Yes. And in the name of Jesus, you let God's people go. Yes. And in you the name do of not Jesus. return in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we give you praise and glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. We lift up a praise. We lift up a shout. We say, God, thank you for all that you've done in Jesus' mighty name. I just want to, y'all put, put my cash app up on the screen. I need to tell y'all something. Uh, as, as he was praying, God was just dealing with me, and he was just telling me that one of the biggest things that holds us back is poverty, to where you just truly do not have enough to make ends meet. And God was just showing me that 
I'm, I feel like I have a grace for this because I have suffered through this and I know what it's like to not have enough. I know what it's like to actually have a good job, even a six figure income, but I still didn't have enough money to make ends meet. And I just want to say two things. There are some people, there are really about 50 people that need to sow a seed of a hundred dollars. There's about 25 people that all you have is $50 and you need to sow it. I, we don't need the money. You know, it's not like we're trying to raise money, but this is truly the Lord deals with me in numbers. He always deals with me when it's offering time. And I feel like it's because he dealt with me personally first and I responded. And so there are about 50 of you who need to sow a hundred dollar seed to us personally. And then there's about 25 of you or so that need to sow the other seed, whatever I just said, the hundred dollars and fifty dollars. But this is my point. You got to then, you got to sow it. You got to believe that you are coming out. And then I know this might sound crazy, but if you are a female, you need to get you a pair of heels if you can wear them. Start marching around your house. You got to start speaking to them. I'm telling you, this is what I did. And the Lord brought me out. If you're a guy, you know, put you some boots on and march around, put you a suit on or something, just something to show that you are going somewhere. And then the second thing, I think we give away, and this is on the low end, about $300 to $500 a day. I think that's how much we give away. And so when you are sewing this into our personal cash app, you're helping us make this happen. So in doing that, this is the second reason why you need to do it. As you, as you fill this up, what we are doing for others, you're making it happen for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because every day, everywhere we go, God has us give away money. I kid you not. Whether we're eating, whether there's somebody on the side of the street, and we never give anything, we never give less than $100, period. So we might go somewhere and God might speak to us to touch, to bless five people in one day or 10 people in one day. And we started a while back and it has gotten, it has become more and more of a demand. But what I can say is we have not run out of money and we won't run out of money. And so that's the two reasons, you know, here's the thing. God already spoke to you. He already told you to do it. He already gave you the amount. So for those who this is talking to, respond. There's a, something very special that is happening right now. But for those who are really ready to come out, you know you have an idea. You know you have a promise from God. You know it's something that you're trying to make happen and you don't know how. I've already did it. I've already gone through it. So into it. Amen. You've got to see yourself out. That's what God was telling the children of Israel. See yourself already out of the house of bondage. See yourself dressed like it. See it in your head. Mm -hmm. See it in your spirit. See it like you're already coming out. And I'm telling you right now, I want to encourage each and every one of you. Take off the communion table. It is still in operation. As often as you do this, do it in full view. Do it in remembrance of me. And then for those of you, you know from the depth of your heart that finances has been just a huge I'm telling issue. You, you, need to sell you keep tools. going around the cycle, the same cycle, telling the same old stories, even if you are successful. But you know there's a ceiling you've got to break. Mm -hmm. Don't just take this message and say, bless you all. Thank mm -hmm. God for Don't that was it. a powerful message. Yeah. You haven't put your faith in action by yeah. saying that's a powerful message. Yeah. You put your faith in action when you sold to it. And I've taught on that. Okay, yeah. go back to the old yeah. videos. Make you sure see you it. send it to the cash right? app, y'all. So God, we give you Kelly all the praise Elaine. and the glory mm -hmm. in Jesus mighty name amen and mm -hmm. amen all right guys keep responding okay. keep responding begin to type in the name of your loved ones we mm -hmm. want to pray for everybody remember it was a lamb for a house say that again a, a lamb, lamb for, for a, a house. house we want to believe for household salvation mm -hmm. how many of you want to go to heaven see your parents your grandparents your children your grandchildren your great grandchildren having a huge huge reunion mm -hmm. in Heaven, yes, every one of us, we want to see. Absolutely. So type in the name of your loved ones as we lift them up before the Lord mm -hmm. right now. Yes. Okay? Is that cool? Yes. Thank All you, right. Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for every name that has been mentioned and every name that they keep typing day after day. We lift them up before you again and we decree and declare that they belong to you. You are the Lord of the harvest. We bind the forces of darkness that want to keep them in darkness we lift the veil that is covering the, their hearts and their minds so that the light of the glorious gospel would shine to them. Father, we lift up that veil. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their souls. We claim them for you. Yes, we Lord. decree and declare they belong to you. They will serve you with their lives. God, we thank you for it right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Yes, Lord. Thank Ooh, you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. And we say this, if you haven't given your life to the Lord Jesus, Come on, Warrior Nation. You know, this is a very huge part of what we do, our One Billion Soul Mandate. You just pray this simple prayer after us. You say, Lord Jesus, 
Thank you for going to the cross to die for me. Thank you for shedding your precious blood to wash me from all of my sin. With all of my heart, I believe that God raised you from the dead. And with my mouth, I confess you as my Lord and as my Savior. I receive the gift of eternal life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. amen. You, if you Lord. made that decision, we are so happy, so glad, so excited for you. Write us right here at decision at warriorlife.cc. Let us help you start out your new journey in Christ and make sure to stay connected to the warrior nation. And I still feel exactly what you are <laughs> feeling. Mm. There are those of you, don't listen to the naysayers, people. You know, we're not doing we're this because we need, because we, we, you know, we got need. We're not one of those people um, that try to get, you know, funny mm -mm. With, with God's people. <laughs> yeah. This is for real, mm. all right? I know God has released a certain amount, certain different type of amounts in your spirit. Accordingly, obey. That's obey. what I was release just about to say right because I feel like some in people the were name saying, of Jesus. you were saying, well, that's not me because I don't have the 100, I don't have 50. You got your lunch money at least, don't you? So that don't miss it. There's something that is happening. We got some things we're going to be sharing in the near future, some instructions that God has given us. God is up to something. Absolutely. We're on the move. Do in not fact, miss it. Yesterday, we were spending some time with a family, uh, 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 you know, and, and we, we told them God has told us, God spoke to us just this Sunday to spend the next 90 days sowing and seeding and pouring. I'm talking finances, presence, presence gifts, abilities. gifts, abilities, bring your resources, mm -hmm. help these people take it to the... That's what God told us, mm -hmm. you know? So we never come here and tell you anything we do not practice. Yeah. You, we, it is not possible. Mm -hmm. Those who know us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said those who know us know. Yeah. And so we're just saying that. Set yourself free. The cash app is Kelly E. Lane. They don't know it on Instagram, Brittany. Can you come pin it? Thank you for okay. asking. And I want to say a special prayer for everybody who's going to respond to that today. Um, I gave. A, I don't know God deals with me that way, probably because he's always dealt with me that way. But the other day when we were, um, when my husband was preaching, the Lord had me get up and say, you know, there was an amount that God told you to give and you dismissed it because it scared you and made you feel uncomfortable. So you gave a lesser amount. And I said, there's some people out here. And that's what you did. And this is your opportunity to correct it. And so many people came up to me after church and said, that was me you were talking mm -hmm. about. Because I remember the days when I had $100 and I had $5. And I would, something in my heart would say, trust God and give the 100 But in my logical thinking, if I gave the 100 what would I do next? And I would give the 5 No, 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 no. You've got to trust God. Because, you know, the people that we're going to bless... They actually had to obey their, that instruction because mm -hmm. God had even given it to them. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if they had chosen the other amount, they might not have gotten mm -hmm. the blessing that God told us to do. Absolutely. So with that being said, let's just pray for them um, really Absolutely. quickly. And everybody that's given into the, the general offering as well. Father, yes, I just want to say, we yes, just want to say for those who are sowing into us personally this, this morning, year, God, God let them know that you spoke this morning. God, yes, I Lord declare yes, a Lord financial Jesus. breakthrough, Lord. Yes, I declare Lord that a door will open for them, God, and you will multiply this seed yes, back Jesus. to them, God, at least a thousand times over, God. Just yes, show Lord them Jesus. this is nothing funny or flaky, but that you spoke because it's not something you're trying to take from us. Yes, it is something that you're trying to bring to us, God. And so here we are this morning in receiving mode, God. Those who responded, those who obeyed, got to ask you to see them, ask you to favor them, yes, give Lord them Jesus. that phone call of good yes, news, Lord open Jesus. that door for them, God, give them the solution, yes, the, their Lord creative Jesus. solution that yes, they've Lord been at after, God, that thing that will take yes, their Lord business Jesus. to the next level, yes. that thing that will take their ministry to the next level, yes, whatever Jesus. it is, God, that will take their family, their relationships yes, to Lord. the next level, God, yes, let Lord this Jesus. see Speak for them. Yes, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Several easy Amen. ways to invest in the ministry, y'all, on Facebook. It's the blue donate button, okay? Blue donate button on Facebook. We also have a phone number, a text giving number. That number is 601 844 The PayPal link for the ministry is paypal.me slash warrior nation. P.O. Box is P.O. Box 16257, Jackson, Mississippi, 39236. Our cash out for the ministry is going after the one. Mm -hmm. And then for those who are sowing and responding to the instructions today to sow into us personally, our cash app is Kelly E. Lane. K-E-L-L-I-E-E-L-A-N-E. -E -E -E. May God multiply it all back to you in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Awesome I got a couple God. things to show y'all, but I'm just going to yes. come on and do a pop-up because I got some more stuff I want to talk to y'all about. But I am excited to show you that we brought back the Miracle Tumbler. We brought it back in blue because we're doing Night of Miracles blue this year. 
Uh, we have a limit. This is a limited edition. We didn't order but a few, but these are the ones we used to have for Matthew 633 and Miracles. Keeps your beverages warm or cold for hours. Really nice. It's on the site. It's available. It's nice. I like it. So y'all can go in and grab that today. Warrior-apparel.org. The shirt that I'm wearing is now available. Jesus wins. This is like one of our best sellers, mm -hmm. really. We wear, I wear my black one so much, I had to switch colors. Uh, so I'm wearing the purple with the pink writing. But I just want to do something fancy for the ladies. So I don't know why I went blank on the screen there. but I, Okay. <laughs> Here's Jesus wins in the ladies cut. This, so you and your boo can actually wear them a light because there's a, the unisex version for the unisex team. This is a ladies cut in Jesus wins. Really nice. Mm -hmm. That's red and white. So that's... Look, also for Deltas. Okay, I did something for y'all. Red and white. Sororities, baby. Man. All right. AKAs. And everybody else that likes pink and green. Here's the Jesus Wins in pink and green. Really cute. Really cute. Don't fuss with me other ones. I'm working on it. This is our Mother's Day tea. Giant slaying. Mm. Jesus loving. Praying mama. And we're going to have some more oh bling ones today. You like that, babe? Yeah. Nice slaying. and soft. Jesus, Jesus loving. loving praying praying mama. Y'all get this now. Yeah. Get this for the loved ones in your life. All right? You like it? I like it. Sounds good. Yeah, and then this is Jesus Wins for the ladies in gray. All these are up, Brittany? Okay, this is the Jesus Wins for the ladies. Ladies cut, okay? Nice and soft. Feel it, babe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's really soft. <laughs> it's soft. Yeah. Try blend. Okay, so these are the different variations um, on that. And then, just one more second. Let me see that. Yeah, those, those right there. These three. And then I'm just going to do a pop-up. Well, Brittany can't get through here. All right, I want y'all to see how pretty. This is one of our new arrivals. You like that, babe? I love that. This is so pretty. It looks really good when we do it this way. This is a, a blue, royal blue, and like the panels are red, dashiki. This is actually red here, not orange. Dashiki print skirt, free waist, y'all. Free waist, y'all always ask me this question. I think it goes up to about a 4X, okay? So y'all grab that. And we're gonna release this one in just a second. Short, it's short this time. You're welcome. Because y'all asked for short skirts. It's not that short now. It's still past a little bit at your knees or so. But same thing, free waist. And so these are the three that we have in stock right now. And I'm going to add back the green camo in short today or tomorrow. And this is this one. Yeah, I need your help. I think I got it backwards. This is the back. Turn around for me. Because I like to show the panels. All right. I love these. Pink and green. All right? So y'all go over there and shop today. Thank you so much. Warrior-apparel.org. Excited. Man. Don't forget to, we are doing Empire VIP next weekend in Atlanta. If you're coming, go ahead and make sure you get in touch with Phyllis. P. Bailey at kellylane.org. Don't forget Night of Miracles, May 31st. Get your miracle tees. Don't forget the School of Supernatural, where we can really spend some time with this teaching. Y'all don't want to miss June 1st. Yeah. A whole day you don't want to miss like this. First. A whole day. A whole day world, like this, y'all. You don't want to miss this. Of God. Okay. And then lastly, we got a couple minutes. Unite Mississippi is this Unite weekend. Unite Mississippi is this weekend. Thank you all so much for your prayers. I think we'll be out there again in the field to see how far they've Oh, yeah. Gone. We're going to come back live today. Yeah, so we're going to come back live again today. And then we are going to be ministering somewhere in the city yeah. at about uh, 7 p.m. Tonight. tonight. We're going to have prayer tonight. Yeah, we're going to have a prayer. This whole church came together just to dedicate this Wednesday service to praying for Unite. So thank you all so much, Pastor Wayne yeah. of uh, Jackson First. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Beautiful church out yeah. there. Those of you in that area, uh, please, please go there and yeah. let God use off 18, that church and that South man Jackson of God to be a blessing to you. Going towards Raymond. Yes. Okay, we love you all. Love I'll you pop so back much. up and then we'll pop up later from the field as well. Pop up, pop up, It's going to be a busy week. We love you all. Keep praying for us as we pray for you. Hey, we're going somewhere. Have a great yeah. day. We love y'all yeah. big time. All right.
Hey everyone, on May 31st, we have an event here at Word of Life Church called A Night of Miracles with Kelly and Sino. Now, Warrior Nation, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how God is on the move all throughout this ministry. But we really feel like that this event uh, is going to be a turning point where things just kick up to a level that they've never been to before in every single way. What God is doing through Sino and Kelly and through this ministry that God is just exalting and promoting in the earth. I, I think he's pouring out his spirit in a way that is absolutely unique in this season. You don't want to be on the other side of the state or the other side of the world or the other side of the planet when this event happens. You want to get here to Jackson, Mississippi, whatever it costs, whether it's a drive or an airline ticket. So I know I'll be here. We want to see you here as well. May 31st, 6 p.m. at Word of Life Church. We hope to see you here.